Hello, Jillian Keeling here, Associate Broker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Town Realty, located right on the coast in beautiful Hampton Roads, Virginia. Today, I'd like to chat with you guys about what is it actually like to buy a house during the coronavirus pandemic? I'll be going over some of my clients' most frequently asked questions that they've posed to me in hopes that maybe it can help you as well. Be sure to stay tuned to the end as I will have bonus tips on how to make the transaction as smooth as possible. As I'm always presenting you with options and producing results, let's jump right in. One of the top questions that I'm getting right now is, are people still buying homes during the pandemic? And the answer is absolutely yes. In actuality, in Hampton Roads right now, we are in a severe seller's market. Real estate was deemed essential in Virginia, which meant that we never really stopped working. It's just that we had to revamp and retool how we did business. For example, there weren't regular open houses in which you could walk through and tour like you normally would, but instead there were virtual open houses. So during the virtual opens, you could either face time or zoom the agents and walk through virtually as opposed to in person. Which brings me to one of my next most frequently asked questions, which is, are you still able to go and view houses in person? The answer to this is yes as well. For the most part, buyers are still able to view the homes in person. It just will depend on what that specific seller's wishes may be. As a good rule of thumb, I would be prepared to wear a mask or face covering when viewing the home as well as utilize hand sanitizer, gloves if possible, and also shoe booties or shoe coverings. Prior to COVID-19, I didn't realize just how many surfaces that you actually touch during a showing. Apparently, there's just all kinds of light switches and doorknobs and cabinet handles that are throughout a home. Also, it is a good practice to limit the number of persons going with you to view the home. Maybe try to keep it to yourself and another primary decision maker for those initial round of showings. You will have another opportunity to let friends and family members view the home by scheduling either a second showing or possibly during the home inspection. One alternative is that you can also video message or FaceTime them while you're going through the showings as well. Bonus tip, remember to try and maintain social distance between yourself and your agent. For example, once my clients have finished turning the home, I will suggest that we chat outside on possibly the porch or a deck. That way we can definitely spread out a little bit more and then if someone chooses to remove their mask they can all while maintaining enough social distance in between. Also it's just a little bit more comfortable being able to have that extra space when you're trying to have more of an in-depth discussion about the home. One of the other questions that I'm getting right now is, is it possible to fully remotely buy a house? And the answer to that is yes as well. You can do virtual showings via Zoom or FaceTime or any other video messaging software. I was actually already doing quite a few remote showings before coronavirus and they became super popular for my out of town clients that weren't here but still needed to buy a house. For instance, your agent could FaceTime you you as they walk through the home so that way it would give you an opportunity to ask questions in real time. They can also retour certain parts if you're unsure of spacing or whatnot all while being remote and virtual. Another FAQ that I'm getting is can you still have a home inspection during coronavirus and the answer to this is yes as well. The home inspection would just need to be scheduled well in advance and everyone that would attend would be expected to wear a mask and socially distance. If the house is vacant, it does make the logistics of the home inspection a little bit easier. However, you can still get a home inspection with your owner occupied homes too. Another FAQ that I get is, well, how would you do the paperwork part of it? And the answer is any of the initial offer paperwork as well as any subsequent paperwork can be sent out digitally via a variety
variety of digital signing apps. You would just need to have an email address and from there you're able to open it on your phone or tablet or computer. And with a few short clicks, you can actually sign everything that you would need on screen. There are a few occasions in which you would need to wet sign and there are also apps that will allow you to wet sign on screen as well. Last but not least, one of my FAQs is how do you actually close on a home during coronavirus? Most attorneys and title companies are requiring that you wear a mask or face covering to closing as well as limiting the amount of people that can come to closing. For the most part, only the signers are going to be allowed in. Now that doesn't mean that you're totally going to be on your own. For instance, with my clients, I'm usually camped out in the parking lot somewhere of the closing office. So that way, if they have any questions, they can call or text me and I can answer anything right then and there. Bonus tip, in order to try and have as smooth of a closing experience as possible, you can try to get your final numbers and your final closing dots prior to going into your scheduled time for closing. This will allow for you to review any numbers, ask any questions, all before you actually get there and have to sign all of the paperwork. Now, if this is something that you think that you would like to do, I would suggest asking your agent and the title entity well in advance of your scheduled closing date and time so that they will be able to prepare and have everything ready for you. And by well in advance, I mean days ahead of time, not just a few hours, but literally days, maybe even weeks, just to ensure that they will be able to accommodate your request. My final bonus tip is to have patience and grace throughout this process. Everyone is trying to navigate through uncharted water right now and doing the very best that they can. Extending just a little bit of patience and grace can go a long way. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and learned a little something along the way as my goal is to always educate my clients throughout the home buying process. Please feel free to comment with any questions that you may have as well as consider subscribing. I will be putting out weekly real estate info videos. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye!